Okay. This is a pretty major upgrade. For what's this? This is for the 10 wheel. So saying. this is for, for driving the 10th wheel. Yeah. I have a sprocket welded onto the CV boot. And up until now, I've been mounting a bearing like this. For it to ride on. And I've been running it like this. Okay. <laughs> and that's okay. what's been taking the backward load because it's not designed. There's a bearing here inside your differential, but there's nothing there. It's not designed to have side load. Right. Right. So way back when, when I did this forever ago, the only bearing I could find to go in there was too big, too wide, and too big around to displace. But <laughs> anyways, they come up with a new bearing now. So now I machine this to accept a full end round bearing, bearing over top and i made it a four mount and everything so right here i have two plates and if you look from this side okay you see my sprocket i see it yeah with a full mounted bearing so yeah, yeah. How much <laughs> that's awesome it is solid no i was shit. always worried about that yeah but yeah now, you know i can snap chains i ain't gonna hurt anything Jesus, in there Andy. So i didn't even know you had that in the there I didn't even know you had that in there. Well, it wouldn't have worked if otherwise. Or the way, this is what I've been using right, for years. Right. But it's just a, a little bit rednecker than I got. <laughs> More rednecker than you, he yeah. says. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get her done, so boys. Yes, I gathered that. There's no excuses. So I kept needed help to do this run. I've been doing this run for fucking 25 years. Yep. And I hated needed help, so I came up with a way that I didn't know. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> You're gonna have a hard time coming up out of this one. Look at hard right, hard right, yeah, yeah, buddy. They're hard there, man. She's deep. Wow! And it always turns into a huge shit show, so uh, pretty excited about that. Maybe we'll get a chance to stop and talk about all the add-ons and why I choose the add-ons I do, what's been done to the quad, um, maybe a little more detailed walk around today than what we give you in the previous put it together build video. So uh, yeah, let's head out to Andy, see what's new on his end, and uh, we'll get this bike out, do a walk around, and uh, shake down, right? everything's good to go for next weekend so stay tuned kick ass ride hopefully nos boss can make it out again he came last year and no we didn't regret it that's for sure is that a prop on the back of that thing hey the prop is it gone no oh, i didn't even know if he had it on there yes there's a prop on a trolling motor see, it'll throw the motor prop. i told you okay i didn't even i didn't see that i like, what because the waves were pushing him backwards when he would get close to the back, <laughs> the back side of the hole yeah the wave come back and last year, I actually, I laughed because the bike was moving backwards while moving forward. <laughs> Okay boys, well it did occur to me that I did promise you guys a proper walk around of what we've done to the 23 Renegade. So uh, let's get into it really and uh, things we've added on to it. Yeah, basically somebody had commented the other day that all my builds are the same, but they're kind of tailored to the riding style that I like to do, right? So 
where to start i guess we could start with probably the clutching right so i had in mind we we're going to run a big heavy tire we're going to go with the 34s you know you're probably going to benefit definitely from uh having yourself at the very least a primary clutch the 34 is on it i like to have a secondary as well for performance so we got the stm primary raised three with the uh, secondary tuner from stm and uh it's a great combination um there's so many ways to vary um you know the setups in them for any application you want to use right so we got to set up pretty aggressive for hauling big weight and that just relieves me the stress of ever having to worry about blowing belts or spinning that type of weight on the corners right so she's set up aggressive she's ready for the skag that was probably the first thing we wanted to get set up and out of the way knowing that we had the 34s coming which then basically i guess the wheels and tires right so havocs were also probably one of my favorite tires to run in 34 because the lightweight they're a little bit softer compound um and the 18 inch wheel i'm giving myself a little more sidewall which made a hell of a difference in uh the quality of the ride so we went back to the msas which have also a more favorable offset at zero versus the uh what is it uh plus 10 is it of uh, the fuel um just uh kicking the wheels out a bit more uh doing away with the spacers and being able to get a favorable offset so the machine still has a lot of stability with it so that was the reason to go back to the msa wheels along with they're actually a couple pounds lighter than the uh the fuel so that's our wheel and tire setup that's why we went with it the havocs work great exhaust system a lot of the bike was actually themed and built around the exhaust system um shane from slg has been a huge supporter of our channel we love the systems they're canadian made they're quality made and uh very impressed with it i've run just about every system he's got other than their uh straight pipe megaphone style for racing right but uh the sniper series large core exhaust in the stainless finish looks really really nice which then had me thinking about what to do with the bumpers right because we wanted to get rid of the orange for as much as possible so we stripped the bumpers and then we uh went and visit our buddy there sam teal cheech and diesel and he hooked us up with some clear powder coat so we've got that done and it's looking pretty killer i gotta say um, for ergonomics and flow of the machine we also decided we would go with the original mods once again and he hooks us up with not only the fair lead but the shifter which is looking pretty blingy there and he did a chrome finish on it this time uh, knowing that we were going for a uh, metal themed build right so a lot of different metal finishes riser looks really nice two inch riser we got the brass knuckles on there and then uh, we also added the gas cap and it's got a much better um, o-ring on it for a seal so you don't have to worry about water penetrating your fuel system underneath the seat i got my old 18 seat on here still got this one out for a poster for the new bike but uh we're waiting on material still so that'll be done shortly but um it's a custom motor quad air box lid he does a nice omc style foam gasket so you can ensure that you're going to be well not sucking up water that's for sure and that's important right <laughs> Right, so then next, obviously we need somewhere to grab when we are stuck. And you never know if you might want to haul some gear. You get tired of hauling your pack and you want to just strap it down to the rack. So, I mean, a back rack on these Renegades is it's a must-have for me because, again, yeah, I need some leverage on the bike, right? So, I like the racks. They're really solid made, quarter-inch steel. You can stand on this baby right at the edges. No problems there. She's very sturdy. So, fire mudding, big time kick-ass racks and for the big old meats again going with the 34s and even if you're doing 32s um, reach out to far mud and check out their floorboards these are pretty kick-ass they look absolutely incredible super impressed this is the king sport gray finish um, that fred and had come up with for our metal theme and it does it has a really nice metal metal finish to it a little bit different than the rest so we did customize these boards in their fitment uh slid them a bit forward to accommodate 34s 32s you can bolt them right up 34s you might want to nudge them forward drill some new mounting holes give yourself a little bit of room unless you plan on going with a stretched in the rear i didn't want to go stretched in the rear this time and i knew that if we moved the boards up we could get away with uh with not stretching the rear and we could still get away with not having to run spacers to kick the wheels out further so 
was able to get rid of the spacers that we had mocked up the 34s on just for sizing and stuff like that. Um, you could get away without stretching the front end if you want to drill and put in a bump stop and you can do that pretty easily and you just use the plate that's for your pitman right here and you can just drill and tap a bolt in there however it's still pretty tight and full squat and full turn you're going to find situations where you might very well rub um so we decided to go the extra mile this time i've run the uh super atv forward offset a arms on my 18 so i know how they feel and what they're like but um we went with s3 this time the quality seems to be just a little bit more top notch um they're definitely beefy they look really nice so you can see the s3 down in here yeah these arms are nice so you got the full upper and lowers they move it ahead what an inch and a half it was a two inches i think it might have been an inch and a half or a full two inches i can't remember two inch forward offset yes they're looking really nice so that was the last real decision i made once we had it all mocked up and clearance wise it did not hurt to get a little extra uh, clearance up front i mean the bike's going to be aggressively ridden she does do wheelies she does jump into the ponds having a little bit of extra clearance there so the front tires aren't eating things like your headlights your rad hose or your floorboards is probably a good idea and you know they're beefy i do have uh far mudding halos for the front and rear on the way i think we forgot to mention the original mods tie rods right so um i've gotten away without running any tie rod upgrades but original mods sent them to us they're very nice and they're definitely beefy in comparison so i mean again with a big old tire like this you got these arms on there everything's upgraded you might as well so the tie rods are in there as well then we come around to the back and we've got the fire mudding tail lights that they just basically released. These were prototypes when we got a hold of them. I think they now are available on the website. So you can order these up and they come with a hole pre-drilled for the mounting of the halos that are about to come as well. So we've got in the mail, they just messaged me the other day, there's actually a front and rear halo coming along with rock lights. They all wire in together. They're all going to run off the same app. That should be pretty cool. Looking forward to checking that out. So. I think that basically covers everything involved in this bike and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a build complete pretty much, right? So we'll throw some lights on her really and uh, that's it, she's done. And then we're just gonna go back out and break more of it in with Andy, right? Yeah. 30 inch sledgehammers, working good. Well, for those people using the old gen ones and okay. you can't put 30s on Corey's yeah, wherever it. we got it we put 30s on yeah and we went and cut and did a whole bunch of stuff yeah whenever i put these on one side was closer than the other i thought what the heck's <laughs> going on they all, all you to gotta do way. is take take a strap you hook the, there is there's two aluminum hoops that hold yes, this all that's on. right the framework there i underneath. just took yep. a three quarter inch come along from the front bumper to the hoop and another one from there to the tie rod <laughs> And you just pull the shift hoops it. ahead. Just shift it ahead a little bit. You don't have to bit. cut nothing. You don't have to do anything. Jesus, I might be able to squeeze 31s <laughs> on there with a bigger couple of them. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. So it was a beautiful day. So you shape and saves carbon things. <laughs> yeah, you ain't kidding, buddy. Right on, boys. Back we'll be on. back. Look at that thing. That looks pretty killer, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's going.
sledgehammer pull it off? I think so. I'm just gonna have to work it a bit back and forth, yeah? Yeah, buddy! Hell yeah!